There is so much content produced about Canva each and every single day. And I mean, not only on this channel, but out there on the internet. And some of it is pretty good. And you know me, I like to bring you guys the good stuff. So in this video, we are going to take a look at three Canva webinars I recently watched and found very useful, very interesting. So I will tell you exactly where to find these webinars, what I liked about them and why I believe you should watch them too. Let's go. What's going on everyone, Ronnie here. Welcome back to our channel. This is the right place for you to learn how to design with Canva, how to become a better designer. And today it's all about that. We are going to be learning with some fresh webinar content. All right, so some of you might know or might not know, but recently my job at Canva has evolved into managing Canva's YouTube channel. So I spend most of my days watching the content out there that is produced by different teams, optimizing this content, creating timestamps, so consuming the information and trying to make it easy for anyone on YouTube or even on Google to discover that content. And by doing this, I come across some really, but really good pieces of content that Canva is producing. Because I believe this content is a little bit underrated. It doesn't get the attention it should yet because like not so many people know about it. I thought I would draw your attention to these webinars. And I picked three in particular that we are going to review in this video. And without further ado, let's just start with the first one. The first webinar, which is actually a workshop, is titled You Will Have a Logo at the end of this Canva workshop. It is presented by my colleague Jessica, who also runs Canva Space, which is Canva's initiative of creating all these webinars and presentations. So Jessica in this workshop will accompany you so that you can brainstorm a brand identity and you can start creating a logo from scratch with Canva for your business. So I'm gonna give you some reasons why I found this piece of content really interesting. But first, let me show you what it looks like. So it's a video on YouTube. I will have a link in the description for you guys to access it very easily. It gets like around 3000 views at the time of me filming this video and in the description. So make sure you click on see more when you see the description. So you will access all the timestamps that I have created for you. So what you will learn in this webinar, how to create your brand identity, what makes a great logo, working with shapes, colors, and fonts, how to come up with great ideas for your logo. That's an interesting part that I think Jessica is doing very well in the webinar is to brainstorm together with you like how do you come up with great ideas for your logo and finding the best Canva templates also to start your logo, to design your logo, not from scratch, but maybe from a template. So this is what you will learn. This is the promise of the webinar. And I have spent a good amount of time like watching this and I highlighted four reasons why I believe you should watch this tutorial. The first reason is that it is beginner friendly, okay? So Jess is not a designer, she's an educator. So she is very good at creating this educational content for our users, but she doesn't have a designer background. So she herself would probably be at a level of design which could be relatable to where you are if you are not a designer. Some of you might be more advanced, but she's like, just like me, she's not a designer. So she's just a regular person with some affinity for design. But the webinar has been built in a way that it's very beginner friendly. Beginner friendly in two ways, in terms of design, but also in terms of brand strategy, brand identity, but also general knowledge about how to build a brand identity. So actually I have listed that all in the timestamps for you. So definition of a brand. So that's one of the things that I like about this webinar that she starts with a bunch of easy to understand concept of what is a brand? What is the definition of a brand? What exactly is contained in this concept that we call brand or branding. So what I'm talking about right now is here, this timestamp definition of a brand. So she will go along and kind of, yeah, let you know what's included in the brand. So moving on, the second reason why I think you should really watch this webinar and follow along Jessica is because there is an accompanying workbook or a Canva document that she has created, which is obviously linked here in the resources. 
Okay, so you can find the workbook from here. I've created a link for you. When you click here, I'm gonna open that to show you. You will have access to this template, your logo design workbook, which is really useful for you to follow along what she is explaining in the webinar. So this also is a great reason why you should take a look at this piece of content. Next, the third reason why I believe you should watch this video is that you are going to build not only a logo, but your entire brand identity. And this, means what values do you stand for what is the tone and like what is the look and feel of your brand what is the main idea how would you define your brand so all of this you are going to be kind of guided along by jess and the workbook to figure it out you will come up with a brand identity for your business or for your project it doesn't have to be for your entire business it could be for a specific project or a client's project but the workbook contains these really like essential questions that will allow you to reflect on what your brand stands for, what colors are appropriate for your brand, etc., etc. So all of these questions in the workbook and resources will help you get there. And then when you have all of these elements, and that leads me to my fourth reason why I believe you should watch this webinar, is that then the last bit of the webinar is going to be a demo by Jess, where she focuses on creating that logo. After having done all the research and filling out the brand identity questions, you can take that, go to Canva and start creating your logo. So at the end of the workshop, you have a logo as the title promises. So that is the first piece of content that I highly encourage you to go check out. The workshop itself is about 50 minutes, but I can assure you it is a really good investment of your time because this is by far one of the best logo design workshop I have seen in a very long time. It is easy to follow because it's so beginner friendly. It is hands-on. You will have a result at the end of the workshop and it is presented by the great Jessica. So go check it out. I will have a link in the description. All right. Moving on to the second webinar, I really would like you to discover. This one is titled, How to Create Impactful Presentations with Canva, a Canva webinar. So I am the host of this one, and this one is a little bit longer. It's an hour and 20 something minutes, but I really go and I dive deep into how do you create next level presentation with Canva. So some of you might have watched already the video, the videos, because there are two videos on this channel where I talk about presentation, how to create, I think it's called five tips to create great presentations. We'll have a link here, a card here, so you can check out this video on the channel. We have another one, which is about delivering great presentations. Again, we'll have a link somewhere in the description for that. But this webinar is kind of like deeper. Like I go way deeper. Actually, there are some elements of what I teach teach in some of the courses that I have on Udemy about presentation that are included in the Canva master course, I believe. But this webinar has some elements of that and some latest updates of what's in Canva and how to create great presentation with Canva. So again, I have created a full on description for you guys. So what you will learn here is four design mistakes you absolutely need to avoid. So I made some research, found a great inspiration out there, and I draw these four mistakes from that inspiration inspiration and I go into detail about how to avoid them, how to work around these mistakes. You will learn how to create slides that will wow your audience, which is very important if you want to convey your message, how to present from Canva and share your presentation as a website. So sharing as a website is a popular feature, especially for presentations. So I'll go and I will demo this as well in the webinar. And finally, what is death by PowerPoint and how to avoid it? So what is that concept that we call death by PowerPoint and how to work around that, like how to create better presentations. So again, there is a lot of timestamps here and my reasons for which I believe you should absolutely watch this webinar is that first the four mistakes okay so the four presentation mistakes are really important let me show you a little bit of this video so i'm going to pause it here so these are the four mistakes right too much information on your slides not enough visuals you produce kind of crap quality slides and visual vomit which is not a nice term let's be honest i didn't coin this term somebody else did so out of respect for that person's work i kept the original concept but visual vomit means basically being all over the place having no consistency on your slides so if you feel like your presentation suffer from any of these mistakes like too much info on your slides not enough visuals maybe not great quality of slides and no consistency between your different slides well the first part of 
of this webinar is going to be addressing this, like heavily giving solutions and explaining why these mistakes are hurting your presentation. You might not even be conscious that you're making these mistakes. So that's the first part of the presentation. That's the first reason why I believe you should be watching this. The second reason why I believe you should watch this is that I teach you in the webinar how to add rich media to your presentation, like GIFs, videos, animated stickers, how to use these rich media to improve the quality of your presentation, to make them more fun to watch for your audience, to draw attention to specific elements on your slide with moving things, animated things. Like I said, like GIF videos or animated stickers. So I will show you exactly how to handle that in Canva in the presentation. The third reason why you should absolutely watch this is that I give my seven rules to creating wow slides. So I'm not gonna cover them now. If you want to discover them, by all means, watch the webinar, but these seven Seven rules will help you create higher quality slides, slides that will wow your audience and that will just bump the level of professionalism of your presentation. So yeah, go ahead and discover that. And then the last reason why I believe you absolutely should watch this webinar is that I also give tips on presenting. Okay, so creating your presentation with Canva, but also how to present it with Canva. So how to use the notes, for example, the presenter notes, the presenter mode, Canva Live, all of these things I touch on in the webinar and I explained how you can leverage that. I also show you how to share your presentation as a website, how to create a QR code, to share with your audience, etc, etc. A very good piece if you need to deliver or to create and deliver a presentation, be it for a webinar, an in-person presentation if that's already a thing in your country at this moment, or simply if you need to present in a meeting for your work or in front of a client, these tips will greatly help you create a better presentation. All right, so before I move on to the last video, to the last webinar from the Canva channel that I believe you should absolutely watch, I want to take a second. Hey, this is a new piece of content I created. It's a new concept where I show you some of the stuff other creators have done, other channels are proposing. How do you like it? Let me know in the comments below. I really am curious about this because this is new to me too. Like I haven't done any video like this before where I actually send you to another channel to watch and consume some content. This is not what YouTubers are supposed to be doing, but hey, I'm not your regular YouTuber. I don't really care about the rules as long as it brings you guys value. And also, so I work on this channel, on the Canva channel, the one I'm sending you to, to consume these videos. This is my day work. This is kind of like my night work, uh, creating tutorials with Diana. But I believe what's important is that there is value there. So that's why I'm bringing you, I'm showing you this opportunity. So by all means, let me know in the comments if this is something you want to do more of. There's a ton of content out there. I could show you more tips. I could show you more videos like these three ones where you can find value. So if you do appreciate that let me know by all means and then I will continue. I'll create more videos like this one. Also something else which is new that I would like to be doing is to feature a comment every time I create a new tutorial because I read all of your comments obviously and I really appreciate them so every week I would like to feature a comment that touched me the most because it's very lovely or because it's very interesting. So this week I have a comment here that I wish to read to you. All right so this is a comment left on our channel by Irisland. And she says, oh my God, you are great examples of branding and managing a business. So cool that you mention all these things in your video. She's talking about the video where I show you guys where to find all types of content on our channel, what and why you are doing it. It's so cool that you mention what and why you are doing it. You are great personalities and it's great you share it. I can identify with so many things. I also really like your style of explaining and I think it's the best online tutorial I've ever watched. Thank you. You have one more devoted subscriber willing to see all the videos immediately. So I think your name is Iris. Iris, I deeply appreciate this comment that you took the time. It's packed with lovely messages in there. And I really appreciate that you picked up that we are doing this for a reason. The reason is that we love you guys. We want to share the value. So by all means, guys, keep giving us these comments. We really read them. We really appreciate them. And I will feature a new one every week. So if you want yours to be featured, impress me with your comments. All right, moving on and back to the presentation. 
I have a third Canva webinar for you that I believe you should go and watch immediately. I believe from the three of them, this is probably the one that impressed me the most, to be honest. So this one is presented by my colleague Clayton, who works with the Canva for Enterprise team. And he created this webinar about accelerating content creation for social media. So I believe I titled this video Faster and Better Social Media Content, all right? But it is really about, yeah, how do you use Canva to create short form content for social media, for Instagram, for TikTok, for, you know, like short form content. So ephemeral content, content that is maybe 15 seconds long or not more than that. So short form content to make an impact on social media, to gain this visibility. So why do I like this? Well, a couple of reasons. So we have the webinar here, which is presented by Clayton. So this is Clayton. And also, obviously, I have created these timestamps. Let's jump straight into the webinars table so of content. Session, what we'll be doing is we'll be covering off industry insights. So we'll run through some basic social media stats. We'll talk about how to make it engaging. And we'll be hearing from our friends at The Daily Oz, which is a startup news organization here in Australia. Okay, let me pause here. So the beginning of this webinar is very powerful because in the first part is really delivering a bunch of statistics about insights of the social media industry. And these insights actually opened my eyes about, yes, he's right. Like this is why it is so important to create short form content for social media. And these statistics really stuck with me. I mean, I work with this all day, but he managed still to bring some really like attention grabbing statistics that really made me think and really realize the importance of creating this kind of content for social media. So that is probably the value proposition of this webinar, that it is based on these real life insights. And then what I really like, and the reasons why you should watch it, is that first, well, Clayton is a great presenter. He's way better than me. I mean, he's just like so natural. The way he speaks, the way he acts, the way he's cool on camera, it's really an inspiration for me. So yeah, there you go. I've said it. Clayton, if you watch this video, like you inspired me with your personality in this video. So Clayton is a great presenter. Second, I already mentioned them, the statistics at the beginning of the webinar about social media that kind of like opened my eyes on some of the things. And then third, and I believe this is really the most juicy part about this webinar is that Clayton is actually interviewing two people from the Daily Oz, which he mentioned in the little segment I showed you. The Daily Oz is a social media focused news agency here in Australia. There are two or more people, but like he's interviewing the two founders of the Daily Oz and he really asked them questions about how they use Canva to create to the minute content that they share on social media, short form content, sometimes creating this content on the go with their phone. How do two professionals use Canva for 96, 97, 98% of everything they publish? So this interview, is gold, absolute gold. There's so many good insights there from real life professionals. It's not just like theory about how to use Canva. It's like real people with a real business using Canva. So this interview and this concept of video really motivated me to dig deeper into this kind of content. And then the last reason why I believe you should watch this is that at the end of the webinar, Clayton is going to demo how to create an interactive Instagram story. So this is super well done. Let me show you briefly what it looks like I have a timestamp for that as well at 40 minutes. Let me just quickly move this to the part where we okay. see the results. So, so right now we've got a whole bunch yeah, of Yes, so you get to this and then it shows us how to use this with Most Instagram and sliders in Instagram to really make this interaction come to life. All right, so this is what I had for you guys today. Three webinars on the Canva channel from Canva Space that I believe you should go, you should run and watch as soon as you can. I will have links in the description. And that's all I had for you today. If you like this video, you already know what to do. Give us a like, give us a subscribe, leave us some comments. We always love to hear about you and and what you think of our content. That's it for me. I'm off to my work at Canva. I will see you in the next video.